My name is Ernestine Shepherd. I am 79 years of age. I was the oldest female competitive bodybuilder in 2011 and also 2010. I am a personal trainer. I also like to model. And also, I just love to sing at church. At age 56, I had a sister. She too was 57. We were invited to a church picnic. And then we heard other ladies talking and they were stating that they were going to a certain place to exercise. So we started working out. We noticed a change in our bodies. After we saw that change, wow. The instructor said, you ladies need to start lifting weights. We did. When we started lifting the weights, again we saw another change. And my sister said, you know what we're going to do? We are going to try to inspire and motivate other seniors the importance of living a healthy, happy, positive lifestyle by exercising, eating correctly, getting in plenty of cardio, and number one, you have to do it with prayer. But she said to me, you know what we're going to do? We're going to be in the Guinness Book of World Records, and maybe, maybe we'll make Ripley's Believe It or Not. We got to the hospital. They examined her, and she had a brain aneurysm, and my sister died immediately. I went back to the gym, and I started working out. I did the things that she wanted. So I sat down, designed a program because she lived an hour away from me. We were going to start training online. I sent her the program, but she was dedicated. And she started sending pictures, and I started looking at the pictures, and I started noticing the progress. And I said, you're doing really good. I want you to start coming to my center. I got excited to watch this lady body transform. Well, seven months later, I told her, I think you're ready to go compete. So I took her to a show. But I knew there would be some other older competitors in the show. So she entered into the master category. And she was the oldest one of all of them. Because the other women were like 45, 50, she was 71. She made a mark. She won that show. Even though she's old enough to be my grandma, I saw her as my little kid. I was proud. I was like, you know, look at my little kid take their first step. Because I was just honored to be the one to help her realize the dream. What motivates me? What keeps me on this fit, this room? My sister still motivates me. 